Hey guys, so I've been drinking reverse osmosis water that has three parts per million of dissolved solids uh, for about three weeks now, and I've noticed some pretty, pretty strong uh, health benefits from it. And so I want to keep on drinking it, but some people say that I shouldn't be drinking reverse osmosis water because it's acidic and that I should actually be drinking alkaline water. And so I want to do a couple experiments to see if the fact that something is acidic or alkaline is a good enough reason to drink it or not. And so I have a few different items here. We have regular reverse osmosis water, and then we have ash, so wood ash from our fire pit outside, a TDS meter so we can see the total dissolved solids, and then a half of a lime here in a lime press. And then we have these um, pH tester strips here. And then this is the little chart that we have. So we have one being the most acidic and then 14 being the most alkaline. And so we're gonna do a quick test and see, I mean, we all know that lemons are citrus fruits and so they're going to be acidic and then i've heard that wood ash is actually alkaline so i thought that that was pretty interesting but i want to do a quick test and kind of see uh, which one or just kind of see it for my own eyes because i personally have learned and i look online that if we put lemon juice inside of our water then it'll actually make our bodies alkaline even though it's acidic so I'm trying to just debunk, I guess, the myth for, so that I could keep on drinking the reverse osmosis water that uh, just because something's a little bit acidic isn't necessarily a bad thing. And so you see here, we got our little tester strips. Let's first test the reverse osmosis water. Okay, let that kind of settle in there. And then I'm gonna pour some of this reverse osmosis water into the ash water. Okay, and then let's go ahead and squeeze some lemon juice. There we go. And so hopefully that should make that nice and acidic. And hopefully this is alkaline, but we'll see what the tests say. All right. And so we got this test strip here. We're gonna put that inside the lemon water. Uh, looks like it already got a spot on it. Oh yeah, very acidic. Okay, so now let's test the, uh, the ash water here. And there we go, very alkaline. And so, to me, you know, for some reason, a lot of people will say don't drink reverse osmosis water unless you add some like lemon juice to it or something else that'll make it alkaline. But for one, as you see, if you put lemon juice inside your water, it will not make it alkaline. It'll actually make it much, much, much more acidic. And I haven't found any videos that suggest to make your body alkaline by drinking ash water. And so, um, for me personally, I, I truly believe that drinking lemon water would be more healthy than drinking ash water. So just because something is alkaline doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you. And so I guess you kind of, if you're going to drink alkaline water, I guess you kind of need to know the source that it comes from and, and make sure that's healthy for you. Uh, but then at the same time, just because something's alkaline doesn't mean we should automatically be afraid of it because lemon water is very healthy. I mean, there's videos all over YouTube suggesting to drink lemon water to actually make your body alkaline. And so I just thought that that was interesting. I'm not trying to say that alkaline water is bad for you and that distilled water and pure waters are the only waters that you should drink. I'm just kind of going off of my own personal experience. And for me, uh, pure water has made me feel really well. And so let's do a quick little test with the TDS meter since we have it out. So it started at three parts per million. I 
I'm sure you guys could read that. Now it's 530 parts per million. And the ash water, you guys could see that, I don't know. The ash water is only 117 parts per million. So something else that we could learn from that as well is that, you know, parts per million don't mean everything. And so kind of what I believe right now, and this might change, I'm just on my own journey trying to figure out what water is the best for me. And so what I'm trying to do is just drink, I'm going to be upgrading to a water distiller here soon. So I could be drinking water with zero parts per million, and then I could add in my own minerals through my plants, through my fruits, through my vegetables, through all of this, and get some really, uh, really good nutrients instead of the nutrients that come from ashes and dirt and rocks and everything like that. And so that's the journey that I'm on. I'll let you guys know how it goes. You can continue to check in to see if I've lost all my hair or if more hair grows back or if my higher energy and just better all um, health continues on over the long term. So uh, stay in touch and I will let you know about my progress.